Hi guys, Queen Cat's back again. How are you? I hope you're doing really well. We got a beautiful spring day here today. And I'm gonna do an unboxing. I went into Louis Vuitton uh, last week and, or not last week, a few days ago. Well, maybe four days ago. And I was gonna get that wallet that I wanted. Uh, so I called up my sales girl and she got one in and they only got one in so I rushed down to get it. I was in there for about two hours and I decided not to get that one. That one that I was going to get was the Insulate Organizer and it's a monogram and it's about this big. It was really big and I wanted to use it as a clutch because I've got the little strap and you know I wanted to just use it as a clutch. I could fit my um, my keys in it, or sorry, my phone in it, probably my keys, uh, um, lipstick, I could fit everything in it that I needed, but it wasn't really a purse, of course, it's just a wallet. Um, but I, don't, I find I don't carry all my cards with me all the time. So I decided to, after debating and sitting there for about two hours, I tried every combination of wallet, of, um, men's wallet, ladies wallet, coin purses, um, the little makeup cosmetic bags. Like I tried every combination to see what works best for me. And you guys know I carry these huge bags. Um, so I did, I'll show you what I decided to get. So here's my receipt. And there's three things on there. And here it is in its little box and you're thinking wow she did get a tiny wallet I did and this is like probably a quarter of the size of the insulate organizer that I was going to get and I was gonna I almost had it like I had all my things together and I was going to the so we were gonna go to the checkout and buy everything and I saw this wallet which I've seen before but I liked this one better than the men's billfold so here it is I got the little zippy wallet and this was a really hard decision for me to make because I really only want to buy one wallet. Well, right now, because I haven't found the perfect, perfect wallet. Now, the insulate wallet comes in a smaller size, but when you open it, everybody can like see your business, see all your cards, see everything. And I don't really like that. And still, that's carrying 12 cards and I still don't need to have 12 cards in a big clutch wallet. I do like that my phone still fit in the zippered top and um, the bills went in but I still never put change in a wallet so I would still need two wallets. So for me I found this was the best way to go. So here is the code for this and it's M60067 and it's the monogram zippy uh, coin purse is what it's called and I don't use this for coins so another funny thing that I did was I had her check inside everything I looked at for what was the 2012 what was made in France what was made in Spain and oh my gosh so this one was made in uh, Spain no no which one where was this one made France so this one was made in France and it was made in 2012 and it was I don't know where the date code is I know it's like right around here I don't think you guys are gonna be able to see it so it's right there can you see it right there and it says SD no S N0152 so it's made in a different factory than my other one that's from France SN0152 so it was made in a French factory uh, in the where are we here zero in the fifth week of the 12th year now I figured this out the fifth week this time happened to be the last week of January there were five weeks in January so it was either made like between the 27th of, or sorry the the kind of the 29th of January to the first week of February so if you want to get technical but it's really great um, if I'm in a bind and I just have this I guess I could put change in this little part here uh, but sometimes I just fold my bills and I just pop them in so I've been um, or I will I've got one there I don't know where my other oh here it is my Canadian Monopoly money what it looks like. I usually just fold them in half because I don't carry a lot of, of change with me or bills or anything like that. And I just like pop them either in the middle like that 
or I can put it on the side. It depends if I'm in a rush or not, you know, at the checkout. I don't want to keep people waiting. So on this side, I've got a big spot for a couple of credit cards or pictures or picture ID, whatever you want to do. I've got one slot here for a main card that I pull out all the time, another one. I've got a nice big area in here if I want to put a receipt or anything in. Uh, same exact thing on the other side. A big spot, a card slot, another card slot, and then again in the back. And it zips up and away I go. This my phone and this my phone and uh, maybe a lipstick and you know I could probably fit a, lip, a little little lipstick in there. So I mean I have a, I'll show you all together when I finish doing these videos how I'm going to be carrying it um, because I have a system. <laughs> oh and I want to tell you on this video my sales associate said that the speedy damier bean is coming out in the bandolier it's coming out in the next month or two it's only going to come out in a 25 30 or 35 they will not be making it in the 40 but they will be making it in a bandolier with the strap so very very exciting uh there's one new bag and i don't know if i'm going to buy it but i'm going to tell you what it is it's not on their website yet you have to look on the international english version of their website and it's called the um, monogram mm raspail i think raspail r-a-s-p-a-i-l and it is a beautiful bag if you haven't bought your neverfull gm look at this bag i believe it's just over eleven hundred dollars or around eleven hundred dollars out here in Canada, those bags are all going to be made in the U.S. It's really beautiful. It's got um, a burgundy lining. I took a picture of it on my phone, but uh, let's see if I have it with me real quick. Um, I'll see if I can get it to you guys. I should have my computer up and running, but I'll show you. And it's a really, really nice bag. It's uh, really big, but it's not super huge so here it is I'll show you let's see there it is and that is a beautiful bag so it's it's a, I think the body size is about the same size and hang on let's get um, the zipper here there the zip it's got a top zip so here it is open and you can see that it's burgundy you might not be able to but it is burgundy there's the top. Look at that. It's got a top zip. So this is the new Raspail. Raspail, yes. <laughs> I, I'm, I always think Raspain, but it's not. It's Raspail. So it's, uh, it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful bag. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to have one more or two more videos to do. So that is my Zippy Coin wallet. And I'm going to give you, I'll give you a close-up of the wallet. In case any of you are trying to decide. Like, there's my hand. I so need to get my nails done tomorrow <laughs> and there it is and the zip is really nice it's really smooth it's got a beautiful uh, hardware on there and it just zips up so nice the, this one does come in a bigger size but I decided to get the small the small zippy size and you can see it was one piece of canvas all the way around so one side will be upside down but because this is the main wallet that I will be pulling out uh, I wanted it in the monogram but I'm starting to mix and match so I'll be back with another video and um, I'll show you what else I got peace guys bye